welcome everyone on Mercourt with HD Edition, Goblin Lairs. Today we got game number two in our free for all finals tournament. First game has been won by Alan, also known as Latina. Today we're gonna cast game number two. So we got uh, Doria Girl or Grill playing as Gondor. On the top left, on the top right, we got Orange or John Salami. On the bottom right, we got Latina or Alan. And in the bottom left, we got the Rohan player, Oats. Yeah, it's Oats. So there are your finals. That's game number two. We saw game number one uh, yesterday. When we got some little skirmish over here with Pippin and Mary trying to kill each other with rock and throwing a rock at each other. Oh, Mordor is trying to creep. Really fast creep over here by Orange. I will stick with Orange. I don't like him, Randy. He's Orange nonetheless. And he saved his, black, uh, his Lumbermill. Another Lumbermill may be destroyed by the Gondor player, Alan. Yeah, Alan will definitely destroy this lumber mill, but he will not uh, stay with this settlement over here, definitely. As we can see, Orange got his lumber, lumber mill in the back, creating some lumber or orc lumbers. A couple of them, while his opponent is creeping the uh, goblin lair, he's not going for this settlement, he's not going for the war lair, because he doesn't have that much troops to back up when uh, army of orcs appear. It seems that uh, Mordor is moving in. At least uh, Latina was able to take the treasures. He got level 2 Pippin at the moment. He got uh, Gondor soldiers on level 2 as well. But he got already level 3 combo battalion for Orange. And I think it's a really good way to go to surprise your opponent. Definitely infantry units are not that good against combo battalions, even if they're only orcs. And will definitely put them down. Pippin, although is trying to escape, trying to work on those uh, lumbers, he will not be able even to clock. Uh, Golem find him out, and now he may be even killed. Let's check it out. Uh, it seems that Golem go away, and now it's time to clock your Pippin. Okay, he's not doing so, but his opponent is going for another war clear. Really, a really wise decision. When you got combo battalion with. Uh, or Carter is definitely it's a good call to get some workler, another workler. We got stables for Latina. Let's check the other side. We got uh, the Faramir on the field. And his work on the workler. How about here? We got Eomer on level 1 only. We got uh, 4 farms at the moment for Oats. And he is going to work on uh, his opponent, I assume. But he lost a couple of those settlements, I got to say. He lost his uh, Mary as well, so it's going to be really hard to get the map control back on the track. Although he was able to pick up the outpost for his opponent, and now he's going to work on his own workler on the side of his opponent. As we can see, the hit here comes the knights. Maybe they will creep jack. Uh, experience goes to Faramir, but who will get the resources? I think they split it in half. So treasures went to both the players. Latina going for the well, uh, which is really important to get well near your base. Um, near the entry of your base, so the riders, most likely riders, will heal up uh, near as fast as possible. Anything? Uh, anyway, no anything. Anyway, we got another lumber mill for Orange. He's going for troll cage because he's going first for the slaughterhouses. You're going for six slaughterhouses, then for troll cage to get uh, those trolls cheaper, as it said over here, six slaughterhouses. It's 50% of uh, reduced cost of trolls and Muma kills, and that's why you go for six uh, slaughterhouses and then go for anything else. On the middle, there will be fight uh, Orange against uh, Georgie. It seems not. We got knights on the battlefield. Level one is still for them. Although this lumber mill is completely out of work, they are not working over here. That orange got already or clumber over here is so everything that's come up his way. Let's check it out actually. Here he is. He saw this uh, stables as well. So it's really good that he got that much of the vision. He got two power points. Uh, 
uh, if Sauron and of course Standaland we got heal and one and a half power points for George over here because he was creepy he got even Boromir on the field Latina got only heal and one power point his uh, hero is low on a health he's trying to pick up the pieces over here maybe he will go for uh, elf and wood but I don't think so to cover the stand land it doesn't seem like he got to be careful of those knights although they got uh, relatively good amount of health if he is going to trample those units he'll be good to go definitely another battalion coming his way and this combo battalion level three and a half will be destroyed over here so really good pickup by Latina but we got already the troll the other throw on the way so it doesn't look good for him for Latina to pick up this fight although he's now not yet going to work for heroes because he doesn't have units that much Latina got only two battalions of uh, Gondor Knights on the field actually only one and a half it seems because battalion costs uh, 20 command points Let's check other players, so they're not concentrating on all those. Rohan, how about Rohan? Rohan is going full heroes, and now he's switching to the stables and the uh, Rohan armory. We got him on level 4, which is really good. Horse Lord will be definitely helpful. Outlaw leadership as well, a little bit. But it's not gives you that much resource, uh, like, for example, in Batman F2 Scavenger or Outlaw leadership for uh, Eomer over there. But still, it's good to have Eomer um, definitely for his Horde Lord and uh, Spear Pro if you're fighting for uh, with some Mirror or uh, Force of Light. And here we got Gondor, two Gondor players, so definitely it's good to have Eomer in your ranks. Uh, as we can see there, there it goes Spear Pro into the Knights. Uh, it's going to be used and kill one of those Knights. Those Knights uh, have already heavy armor, but they were low in health. And I don't think so that um, Alan will fight with those Gondor Knights that will definitely get back into the base. And now you will see how fast those Knights will heal up as we can see. Before they even entry, they already regain uh, one of those Knights. This is why you build uh, well near your entry. Eomer still hand down those Knights over here I assume. He got uh, heavy armor. You are always going for heavy armor first before the Forge Blades. Even if they are... Uh, not that cheap. They cost one thousand resources. How about Mordor? Mordor is going for industry, as we can see. Free uh, slaughterhouses, a really good setup over here. He's going for drama trolls. At least two drama trolls, definitely for Mordor. It's rather a standard, as we can see. He got almost one power point already over here now. He's going to be attacked by two players, uh, Rohan and Gondor, but they are fighting each other as well. There is a uh, Gondor battalion of knights on level 5. You definitely don't want to lose this battalion, and I don't think so that Latina is going to lose this battalion, although it was really dangerous over here. And still, Mordor regained the map control. He got Troll of a Stick to punch a little bit more those uh, knights, for example and we are switching places to, uh, towards another Gondor Georgie is going full on uh, blacksmiths at least six blacksmiths you should have possessed if you want to get uh, cheaper upgrades and it seems that he's going for it as we can see he doesn't have any units on the field he got only those two heroes and his backup resources for the Gandalf and for Gandalf the White so he will be heavy, definitely heavy on heroes and uh, after that he will definitely switch for some upgrades this is why he got on those uh, Gondor blacksmiths but I don't think so that it's going to be enough with uh, six farms as well you will receive uh, reduced cost of cavalry but it seems that uh, our Gondor player over here on this side Georgie is going for infantry units because he's going to, as we can see, take down the one of those farms and going for Gondor Archery. So definitely he's going for infantry units, we will not see cavalry, we will see all the heroes. Gandalf will be wide because it's almost uh, two power points for him. Let's check out the prize. Latina got uh, three power points over here. He bought all those uh, upgrades from the fort for, uh, for Rohan Forge. Uh, and this is why there is a farm. To reduce cost of uh, cavalry units we'll get more and more units on the field for him but let's get into the battle uh, between uh, Latina and uh, Orange over here because it's most uh, important actually we got Witch King on the battlefield for Orange 
and he got already one power point going to kill some of those knights. Really good punch over here. Maybe Thros will use it as well. No, that doesn't seem like. But it looks like uh, that Ots got to get away. And now it all comes to Latina to trying to kill his opponent. Witch King doing really good damage over here. Knights are flying. Got to heal them up. It's not looking good, battle, battle towers, but definitely those battle towers will be taken down in uh, like two seconds. There is another battle tower for uh, Latina, but it doesn't seem like he got enough resource for that. Let's check him out. There he go. Yeah, he doesn't have resource for all of this. He bought himself Gandalf. Maybe this Gandalf will save him. He got a heal. He got Gandalf the White, but there is the Witch King. He definitely provides the leadership while it's going down. And there is Gandalf. Is it enough? Is it enough to pick up the pieces? It seems that Gandalf got to heal and... What can I say? Gandalf goes down. Citadel goes down. Definitely it gives more than lots of power points. As we can see, almost six power points already. He got the throw on level 8 at the moment. On level 5, uh, level 3 or 2. And that's it. Latina is going down. We got six power points on Mordor over here, and he got to go back into the base, on into his base to protect himself against all Rohirrims. But it seems that he got already two trolls over here. We got Eowyn and uh, Eomer over here, but we got Gun of the White from Georgia, and he will pick up uh, Eowyn with uh, lighting uh, with uh, Istari light. We are going to switch in the composition with uh, Siege Works. We got Darkness for Orange as he destroyed his opponent. We saw how fast the Gun of the White could go down. Trolls on level 8, level 2, but definitely those Rohirrims got to be careful. This uh, Gandalf as well, he doesn't have lighting, so he doesn't have uh, his tidy light. It's a really good opportunity to pick up Gandalf over here. But Rohirrims are more important, it seems, uh, for now, and they will be picked up already. Gandalf, really good micro with him, actually. But he got to be careful. He got to be careful. Two swings, and you are down, Gandalf. We saw it uh, with Latina's Gandalf, and it can happen to, at the moment as well. There is a Stally Light, and one throw been punched. Is it enough? Darkness, and here goes the, the Gandalf, getting one throw and being killed by another one, this one, received level 10, right after that. And let's check the amount of power points that he gained after this uh, kill of the Gandalf, almost two power points. So that's really, really good for him. He was able to pick up Gandalfs without any troubles because of those throws, because the buffs that he possessed, Evil Eye as well as Darkness at the right uh, time to summon them. This is why Orange is, uh, I think, but from of one expert, he knew what to do, when to do it. And now Rohan got to be careful, he got to regain his, or revive his Eowyn. But I don't think so, it's enough time. Here goes uh, the Evil Eye. And this wall will be destroyed over here. So we got uh, four buffs over here. We got a buff from the Witch King, we got buff from the Drama Troll, we got Eye of Sauron buff, and still we got uh, the Darkness buff. So there we got lots of buffs over here for Mordor army. That's why Rohan got to get away, got to do something with that all. And it's not easy. It's not easy for him to do anything. He's losing units. He will lose a couple of them. Definitely those uh, trolls will level up. As we can see, knights are falling apart. Theoden has been killed. I don't know even where. No, it was Elwimer. And Elwin is over here. Two swings and she is dead, as we can see. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing hard over here. Theoden low in health and he's gone. No more buffs for Rohan army level 5 for the, for the troll over here. And now the entire base for Oats will be destroyed. And that's just happened over here. So we got 7 power points for uh, Mordor and he take down both the players. He got only one over here to put up a fire, then we got actually only rangers and uh, gondor archers, it's not enough, it's definitely not enough for uh, gondor to pick up a fight with uh,
Mordor over here when he got all those throws on level 6, level 7 almost, and level 10, Drama Troll, and uh, as well as Witch King over here. It's really hard if he's going to lose this army. It's going to be the end. There is only Tandemant, and uh, Darkness ability is no longer on the air. I know that you can see this effect uh, of the buff over here, but it's not longer here. We get more and more trolls, some catapults and drama trolls for Mordor, as we can see. Seven power points for him as well, and he's going to retreat his army of trolls for now. He don't want to pick up this fight, he's waiting still for Gandalf, which is over here al already. But we saw what could happen to Gandalf after two swings of uh, troll with a stick. So it's not that easy to pick up the fight with Mordor at the moment. Definitely not that easy. Definitely Mordor got mo more power points. He gained more power points uh, through the entire game. He gained the map control as well. So it's not easy at all to pick up a fight with Mordor. Another and now Mordor is coming. Yeah. He's using industry on uh, those slaughterhouses. Three slaughterhouses at least. This is the amount of slaughterhouses that you would like to pick uh, to use industry on your castle. Yes, now Orange is going to work on those farms. Those farms will definitely fall apart. And it's only comes to this army. If this army with Gandalf, which is over here, will be able to take control and fight with his opponent, it's going to be something great. But we got Darkness available, Evil Eye, uh, Eye of Sauron, and Tenderland, so I don't think so. It's going to be enough. Uh, two catapults is going into position to take down the wall. And there is only one battle tower over here. For now, Orange is not going to pick up a fight. He's going to deal a little bit of damage to the wall, maybe to the rangers, because they are not that mobile as uh, cavalry units, as we can see. But I think that may be one-sided. This composition of units is not enough. And Gandalf is over here. You can easily pick him up. It seems that uh, our, uh, Orange doesn't care about this Gandalf. We got Eye of Sauron. We got Trolls. This army will, is not that mobile to move out. And they all will be picked up over here. All those heroes will be killed over here. Entire army crashed. And... Yeah, there is nothing, completely nothing that uh, Gondor could do. Gandalf still on the air, but he's completely useless, as we can see. <laughs> Goes down like nothing, costs 6,000 resources. So it's not enough, it's not enough, and Trolls can move again. Eye of Sauron on the air, uh, Darkness on the air as well. And it's going to be it. It's going to be the end. Uh, Jordi has been defeated. Game number two goes to Orange. With this, his army of trolls. And he swings those Gandalfs like they are nothing. They're like they're made in paper, from paper actually. Two swings with the troll is with a stick and that's it. Gandalfs goes down. Definitely with buffs such as uh, Evil uh, Eye of Sauron or Darkness. Really good execute. Anyway. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.